Soul Savers opened for Depeche Mode, a big part of the European tour that we did with the last record. And um, and I've been a fan for years, and I'm you know, and and, and of and of Mark stuff, and we just talked about it, and then and then Rich, you know, we we started to write songs. There was no. There was no agenda really. We weren't. We weren't. Um, we didn't say let's make a record. It was really just about writing, see what would happen, see if it would work together. And I think that's what was kind of special about this. Was there was no no one breathing down our necks. Yeah, there, there was no plan. Right. You know, uh, and if you can let something grow just organically, it, you, the results are always better. There's nothing worse than like okay, you know, this is the plan. We're going to do this, and you know, it's forced. You know, if you just fall into it naturally, um, hopefully, you know, it kind of works out better and you know, I feel really good about the way this one unfolded. I think we both got more comfortable, we started to read, you know, what, what, we, were do what we needed next. It wasn't like we rang each other and was like, mm, I'm not sure about your middle eight there, or I'm not, you know, <laughs> it's not quite working the bridge into the court. It wasn't, it was, wasn't, wasn't that it, at all. Yeah, it was a very, you know. Like, like, like where's, the, where's the hit song? Where's the single? You know, it's like, that wasn't I've been meaning the to, <laughs> yeah. I've been meaning to speak to you about yeah, that. Yeah, I know, it's like, <laughs> we did, I did at the end, towards the end of, of, of the, we, I, I did kind of go, Okay, I'm listening to everything. We kind of need something like you know. We need a couple of rockers, I think. Like yeah. you know. Um, but once Richard, you know, completed a lot of the musical stuff as well, and all the you know drums had been recorded and bass lines and and you know some strings and everything, a lot of the, the things that started out very acoustically became much bigger and, and, and you know so the more records I make the the more involved I get in like don't don't mess with my vocal I don't mess <laughs> with what I did yes it's got some mistakes there and yeah that note's a little flat and whatever but don't mess with it like because that's the way it is and for me with the Depeche stuff because it because it is so kind of like um, produced a lot of it you know, I need to hear. I got. I, I have to have some kind of element to it that is is not perfect. <laughs> if that makes any, any sense. Not to say that you know what we do is perfect, but uh, it was so different. It's so different to the Soul Saver stuff. Um, it allowed me to go places with my voice that I felt like I hadn't been before. Like to use my voice in in, in a very different way, and I just let that natural. I even on some of the tracks. You know, I wasn't sure if I could reach where I wanted to reach, like power and note-wise or whatever, but I just kind of went for it, and uh, it, it worked out pretty well. Um, I honestly believe that this is the beginning of something, and there will come a point where we will be on stage together doing shows, and hopefully after we've got a couple of records under our belt. Things just, you know, <laughs> yeah. kind of unravel the way they unravel, yeah. and, you know, I'm kind of... We'll just kind of see how things go.